Hello guys, this is Madi here and uh, this is this video is a continuation to my unboxing video of the Vita. Well, first of all, I would like to thank all of you who have watched my videos, who have subscribed to my channel or have given any recommendations or feedback. And this video is in continuation to that video which I made of the unboxing. So, I will make three videos. The first video would be this video which I will discuss the hardware and the basic OS of the PlayStation Vita. The second video would be the one in which I will discuss the application manager which is basically used to transfer the contents and in the third video I will make it purposely only for gaming in which I will discuss the gaming performance and the graphical performance so in this video I, am disc I will discuss the hardware performance not the performance but the hardware and the overall OS review so as you can see this is the unboxed PS Vita here it has been used for approximately two or three days and uh, this is the left analog stick which is primarily used in gaming not for the OS the OS here is absolutely Dutch based as I will show you later on this is the d-pad this is the PlayStation home button the left speaker looking at the bottom we can see the port which is used for charging and for transferring contents and uh, this is the 3.5 mm jack this is the model number and the ID the normal PlayStation buttons the right analog stick and the right speakers and this is the select and the start buttons and if we, if I take a look at the back sorry I mean I forgot to mention this is the camera right there this is the front camera which is VGA camera look in the back you can see the rear touch panel the rear camera and the further specifications of the model and if I take a look from the top I've got the power switch, the Vita, where I will insert the, this is the case where I will insert all my games, cut the games uh, which come in card format, not in the UMD, the volume rocker switch and these as you can see are the shoulder buttons or the trigger buttons as commonly known. So this was the brief hardware review and let's, let's boot this up. To boot this up I just need to press this power button for like four to five seconds and let's show you this and the PlayStation logo will come up soon and the PlayStation logo means that the device has started and actually if you notice the loading time is very less and yes it's loaded I mean basically less than 15 seconds and this is the not the home page but this is the lock screen which shows the time and the date so this was the this is the home screen of the PlayStation OS as you can see the time and the battery the home screen and these are the indications for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, the OS is pretty smooth I mean as you can see I'm just there are various home screen I have not filled the home screen because I have not got as many applications but as you can see I have got here some of the basic applications games and music and video so let me give you a brief overview this is the notification button in which all the notifications are displayed and uh, let's start with the PS Store first so I just need to click the start button and the PlayStation Store will start The screen is actually very nice. I mean, maybe my camera isn't displaying the screen as well as it actually looks, but the screen is very crisp. And this is the interface of the, the PlayStation Store. I can choose any kind of game. I can go to this recommended option where I would be shown games according to my recommendation. I can go to all where I can see the list of add-ons, Vita applications, demos. And if I click a particular tab I will be displayed the further information as you can see and here is the list of PS Vita games and if I go for more I can get the list of PSP and the PSP Go games as well as Vita is fully compatible with those games as well and interesting thing about this OS is that I just need to press this home screen button and it will take me back to the main menu so I, if I just press this now I can go back to the main menu and if I want to open another application you know so now I have in total of one two 
you know, I have two applications, so I can open as many applications as I want, and I can even open applications in combination with the game. So, this is a perfectly multitasking device. And if I want to close an application, as you can see, this sign like a page, I can just swap this out, and the app is closed. This is a very nice application, the Neo game, or the app, I should say, in which I can find out who are the users of PS Vita nearby me. So it's loading now, and I can click on this out and about. And this will give me all the users which are located in and around my area. So, as you will see, it's right now it's calculating and it's finding out who are the users using the Vita. And this is the list of users. And if I click on them, I can get information like their recent activities and their recent games. And I can even add them as friends. So this is a very useful activity which you can use for finding out the guys near you and perhaps, you know, asking them or perhaps contacting them. This is the friend section in which again all my online friends are displayed. I can add friends, I can block them, I can send messages. So this is another very useful application for me and the interface is very sleek as you will see, as you can see. All my friends here and if I just click on them, it will show me the details, it will show me their levels, their trophies, their languages. And if I click here, I can instantly start the group messaging icon through which I can message them either individually or I can even message them in groups. And here you can see, I can just create a message. This is the QWERTY key, this is the keyboard of the Vita and I can write any message as I want. So yeah, that's how it is and then I can just press this send button and it will send a message. And of course this depends on your Wi-Fi speed. My Wi-Fi speed is not the greatest so it's taking some time but yep, as you can see, the message has been sent and now I can again close this group messaging. I can even close this friends. Now let me show you trophies. You are, All of you know what are the trophies basically collect. Shows you the list of trophies of your personal trophies and your friends trophy. And then the camera, yep, it's a VGA camera. I mean, it's not really a, a tablet or a camera device, it's more like a gaming device. And this is right now the rear camera, this is the front camera, I'm sorry, so let me. Oh, I accidentally clicked the picture. So, yep, this is the, as you can see, me and the camera. And I just need to press the trigger button and it will take the picture. So, now let me show you the back camera. As you can see, this is the back camera. Pretty handy, I mean. The screen is beautiful, so the pictures look pretty good on the screen. Though maybe they, they won't look the same when you transfer them back to your PC. And the browser, which is pretty important, if you are going to use... So I will just open the Wikipedia article to give you an idea about the speed of the browser. It's not as fast as iPad or iPhone, but or some of the Android device, but considering it's a gaming device, it's still pretty fast, as you will see. The, right now it's loading the mobile page so as you can see the screen is pretty clear showing me the information and of course it's it's not very fast and let me open something else let me I can even search if I want and I can open new tabs or let me open Facebook as you can see Facebook is open and looks pretty good on the screen I mean it's not the fastest as you can see the loading times are pretty not the best but otherwise I would say that it's not really an internet device but still it does your job I mean if you're in an emergency and you need to check your mails or something you can do it this is how the internet browser is and moving on towards the music player all your contents be it music, be it videos are transferred via the content manager so you which I will show in a different video. So this is the artist, album, song. So there are various kind of classifications recently played and recently added. And I can just go on the songs and this will I just I don't have many songs because I don't use this as a media player. I have my phone. But I can just I can play something and I can increase the volume to give you an idea about the volume. So 
as you can see it's pretty loud enough and the equalizer settings you have got like many equalizer settings as you want so let me so as you can see now the sound is enabled so it's making the system sounds which I personally don't like and if I go into videos it's a similar interface it's a really good video device I mean because the screen is so beautiful I can play very high quality videos as you can see and most of the formats are supported I guess I have not tried all the formats but I personally think most of the formats are supported and go on, if I go into the settings basic settings you've got there you can set like system update PlayStation manager sound and display languages your, your basic stuff there are many kind of languages available let me show you the languages because maybe there are some viewers who are not English viewers so you've got like a bunch of languages to choose from and what else should I show you I can show you the tweet this is the latest application Skype and Facebook are being developed as of now so I don't use a Twitter account so this application is not useful for me but someone who uses Twitter it could be a pretty good application that's what I've heard and that probably is it I mean I've covered the basic OS as it looks like okay let me show you the the photos option how you can search for photos so as you can go here I you can see all the photos which you have and you know it's a very smooth and I guess you can even zoom zooming is pretty you know pretty smooth as you would expect on a quad core device remember this is a quad core CPU so you can expect very good very good interface and very smooth interface very fluid as it is and uh, I guess that probably is about the basic OS. I will be covering more parts like the gaming and the content manager which is how to transfer the contents in the upcoming videos. And if you have any special requests for a special segment or perhaps a special part of the PS Vita which you would what, what you would like to know, I can I will be very pleased to cover that and thanks for watching the video again guys. It's great having you watch all these videos and uh, Recommend, subscribe, comment and other videos are coming really soon and that's it as for now and thanks for watching these videos and hope to see you really soon.